Hi there, welcome to another online class. So today's class is baby yoga. We're gonna get started with a blanket so baby can lie down on the blanket and be comfortable. Also, if you have a mat, you can use your mat and then place the blanket on your mat and then your Close baby your eyes and just breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Keeping your head nice and long. Finding the seat comfortable. Right? You can move a little bit side to side. And then finding your seat, we're gonna uh, bring the right ear to right shoulder. Relax your shoulders. Head back to center. Left ear to left shoulder. Head back to center. Chin up towards the sky, bring the chin up to the sky, breathing in. Open your mouth fully. Bring your lips together, so close your mouth. And bring the chin to chest. Head to center. Beautiful. Like letting go of baby at this moment, bring your hands to the sides, and then our arms are just gonna go up to the sky, taking a nice deep inhale, 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 exhale, and then slowly come it down. So I'm sorry you don't see the top of my hands, but we're just bringing those hands up to the sky, and then slowly bringing them down. Once again, hands go up to the sky, and slowly bring it down, bring them down. Beautiful, nice. Okay, so babies here, we're just going to kind of bicycle their legs a little bit, just a little bit of movement to their legs, having their knees in, and then holding the two legs together, both legs together, we're gonna, knees come in, and then you're gonna stretch, and knees come to belly, and then stretch. Knees to belly and stretch. Knees to belly and stretch. Beautiful, yay. Have them clap, clap, clap their feet. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. Now we're going to go with the arms. So the arms are just gonna come towards center and if you feel a little bit of resistance, just wiggle them a little bit and just see how they go. So coming in should not be much of a problem. The thing is going out, babies sometimes don't like to bring their arms out. So we're gonna bring them out. And again, you're just gonna wiggle a little bit gently and then bring them back to center. And then open. And they come back to center and open and back to center and open. And let's finish with a little clap if the hands reach. Yay, 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 namaste. Yay, 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 namaste. Wiggle, yes. A little bit of love, a little bit of caressing right here, massaging a little bit those shoulders, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna come to table pose. Just on your hands and knees, coming above baby onto table pose, right? Our knees are under our hips, Hip width apart, hands, you can spread your fingers apart and you can have these hands 
underneath the shoulders. Looking straight up, baby. My baby doesn't open its eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend that baby's looking at me and you're gonna call some kind of attention. Hello, hello, baby. And then baby's looking at you and you're just gonna come on down and kissy, 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 baby. And push up all the way. Again, engage that core and come into that um, table pose. We're gonna come on down and kissy, 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 baby. And up. And once again, come on down and kissy, 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 baby, kissy, baby. And push up. Beautiful right here. Okay, moms. So we're going to take or curl our toes in. So tuck your toes. Walk your hands back for broken toe pose. I love this pose. So we're just going to either stay right here or you can come up all the way and back and just sit on your, um, sit on your heels and then come on forward. Once again, back to table pose, untuck those toes. Nice. So again, having your baby look at you, hello, we're gonna go to cat pose. So take a nice breath in, and then we're gonna go to cat, which is bringing the chin to chest, tailbone in, round your spine, look at baby, and what does the cat say? Meow, meow, meow. What does the cat say? Meow. So moms, this is really hard to do, but we're gonna look away. I should say parents, because I know that some dads also do this. So you're going to look away for cow pose, not looking at your baby, and you're going to actually feel the baby's eyes on you and just maybe calling for attention right now. And what does the cow say? Moo. What does the cow say? Moo. Let's go to cat. What does the cat say? Looking at baby again. Meow, meow. And let's go to cow, look away. What does the cow say? Moo, moo. And let's look at cat to look, I mean, uh, looking at baby coming to cat. And what does the cat say? And again, let's go to cow, breathe in, no need to make a noise, just inhale to cow, exhale to cat. Hello baby, inhale to cow, looking away, exhale to cat, looking at baby. Make that nice eye contact. Look away, cow, inhale. This is great for your spine. And again, looking at baby. Hi, for cat pose. Staying in cat, you're gonna come and down. Careful baby does not kick you, but we're gonna come and back to mouse pose or child's pose, right? So we're little mice right here. Oh, good stretch. Again, you're going to come back to table pose, tuck your toes, push your hips back, and this time lengthen your legs. Push your hips all the way back. Make sure that you are safe wherever you are. If you are on the blanket or if the blanket is not as firm, you can always be on the mat. And if, you're, it's, if it's your own mat, you probably don't even need a blanket for baby. Right, baby? And what does the dog say? Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. woof, woof. What does Oscar say? And bring your knees down. Good. Untuck your toes and thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is just being on your shins. So you're nice and tall right here. Okay, on your shins. Right. And then from here, you're going to turn, let your hips just go to the right side. We're going to look over to the right and you're just going to bring your hand over, baby. And then bring it up as you turn. 
towards the left. Coming back to Thunderbolt and then shift those hips to the right side. And with your left hand then, you're just gonna come on over and start to do a little bit of a twist right here. Beautiful. Okay, so let's crisscross applesauce our legs. Oh, I'm sitting on a blanket. Sometimes it's comfy to do that too, moms, if you want to. And dads, you can sit on a blanket as well as baby is on a blanket too. Okay, all right. So for our next thing, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play with our arms. So that's why this camera is a little bit tilted like that because what I'm doing right now is just um, doing all the things that you can probably see that we do with or we do for the babies. Okay, so we're gonna go north, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. Yay! Good, good, good. Yes! All right. So now, switching to the legs, we're going to do something similar. So we're going to bring the legs up and we're just going to go north. And you want to do, of course, my baby doesn't bend their knee, his knees or her knees. So we're going to try to bend the knees like we did at first. And we're going to bend the knees in and go north, stretch south, east and west. So you're just crossing. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. North, south, east, and west. You're the baby I love best. Woohoo! Nice crossing there. Great. So let's place baby this way. And then with your writing hand, you're going to, so it's my right, hold on to baby's legs, just like if you're changing baby's diaper. With the opposite hand, you're going to bring that hand underneath baby's tush. Holding baby's tush right here, and with your dominant hand, holding the feet. The feet gently, I mean, I'm exaggerating right now what we're doing just to kind of show you, but it should be really simple. Baby's lying down, you just kind of slip your hand underneath, holding baby's feet onto the floor, and then gently lift their hips up to the sky, and then let them go down slowly. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, lift, falling down, lift. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Once again, lift. London Bridge is falling down, let them fall, lift again. Falling down, lift. Falling down, London Bridges. Falling down, my fair lady. Yay! So some parents dread this time because it's tummy time. So some babies do not like tummy time. So we are not here too long. Some babies love it and you can spend a lot of time there. So for right now, we're just going to have baby on its belly, arms next to their chest. And sometimes if you do this or their hands come next to their chest, some babies might be able to lift their heads and chest coming to a little cobra pose. So again, I'm 
kind of forcing my baby to do this right now. And then you're going to see with your own baby doing this. So baby's up for cobra pose. You can leave baby right there as long as baby's comfortable doing whatever. Sometimes head is turned or up and then their body is up. But we're going to use our hands and we're going to open those fingers, placing the hand, like the whole hand onto their back. Maybe the middle finger can be on the spine without pressing down. We don't want to press down. We all want to do is a nice massage. So you might want to just, I mean, feel a little bit like you are caressing, you are massaging, but especially not that uh, middle finger is not really pressing down on that spine. Okay? So the rest of the fingers are coming down and we're just massaging. Great. Holding on, I'm gonna move my baby forward because if I go back, here, my head gets cut off. So, from here, what we want to do is hold on to baby's feet and then just their little heels are gonna come to their tush and extend or stretch. And tush and extend. And tush, extend. Tushy kicks, tushy kicks. Tushy, tushy, tushy kicks. Tushy kicks, tushy kicks. Tushy, tushy, tushy kicks. <laughs> and then however you want to do, remember, it's just about moving baby's body a little bit. Holding on to their legs, just kind of like they're swimming or like they do in swim school and just kick, 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 kind of stretching the legs out a little bit. I don't know if you can see me, but we're just stretching those legs out a little bit. There is a big, there is a bit of a bend, of course, we don't want to um, force anything. Just gentle kick, 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 and down. Nice. Turn baby around to face you again. Face you. We're going to play. Uh, it's called three, three, three. <laughs> because we're going to hold on to baby's foot and the opposite hand have the meat in center, tap for three times, and then stretch, gentle stretch for three times, three times. Got it? And then we switch to the opposite. So let's get started. Tap, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Tap, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Tap, tap, tap. Stretch, 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 switch. Tap, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Tap, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Tap, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Woohoo! Yay, 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 namaste. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. With your noisemaker, have your baby lie down in front of you, holding that noisemaker right on top to center. Again, trying to get that attention, baby's attention. Having some eye contact with the noisemaker. Move that noisemaker to the right. Bring it back to center. Move it to the left. Bring it back to center. Keep on moving. Bring it up to the sky. Make that noise and calm on down. Oh, and before they grab it, if they're that age, lift up 
to the sky and down again and then maybe away and come on back so baby's looking back bring it close to your chest bring it back to their line of sight right there in front of them bring it down bring it down bring it up once again to the right Center to the left. Now it's nice and high. Oh, and you can't see it, sorry. And then bring it over here and then on top of your head. And then again, down and let them have it if they reach for it. So after they have it, they can play with it a little bit. And then this gives us a chance, if their hands are occupied, then we are going to come to another, another little game, right? Holding on to their legs and the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. We're gonna bring the knees to belly again, or feet to belly, whatever is comfortable. And the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Let's switch to the arms, and we want to do this kind of quickly. If they have a toy, put it aside and start moving. I need to bring this foot out, sorry. And the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The bus goes swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The driver on the bus says move on back, Move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. Hands to belly. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town. Let's pick up babies from under their arms. Nice and firm, engage your core. We're gonna get nice and tall here. And the babies on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The babies on the bus go up and down all through the town. The mommies on the bus say, I love you, I love you, I love you. The parents on the bus say, I love you, all through the town. Nice. A little caress and hug, hug, hug. Lots of love. And baby down in front of you. Yeah. If you have a blanket where you were sitting, you want to put that to the side. Okay? So we want to put that to the side and just make sure that the surface where you're going to be standing, it's secure or stable. So we are starting in a standing position, holding baby. This is called the diaper hold. One hand is going to be under their tush. The other one is going to wrap around or your arm is going to come around their little bellies and just hold them. So it's kind of like they're sitting 
on your hand a little bit and against your body. Opening your feet about mat width apart. Start to bend your knees and just make sure that you have a good stability wherever it is that you go. What we're going to start to do is just bounce a little bit. We're going bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bounce, 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 bouncy, bouncy, down. And up. We're going to bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bounce, bounce, bounce. Bouncy, bouncy, down. And up. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, down. And here we're gonna stay still. We're not gonna move. We're gonna hold this nice and tall. Baby might wanna continue bouncing, right? But we're gonna stay still. And one, two, three, drop, and up. What you want to make sure and be careful is, I'm going to turn to my side, so I want you to see my back and how I am dropping like, if I'm dropping like this, I'm not going forward, okay? I'm just going to drop and then come up. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. Element of surprise. One, two, three, drop. And back. Kick back. Kick back. And then again, we're going to bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, down. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, bouncy, down. And up. Good. Now, let's turn so that, I'm sorry, so we're going to bring now our feet are going to be hip width apart. Holding feet hip width apart. Bring your right foot back. Set it to a 45 degree angle. You're still holding your baby here. 45 degree angle. And the hips are forward. Both legs are straight at this point. Okay, good and strong. Start to bend your front knee a bit. Okay, so it's like getting into a warrior one pose. We're going to switch how we hold baby. Holding baby underneath baby's arms. Engage your core. And from here, we're going to bring baby up and down. And up and down. And up and down. See how baby is? almost just next to my body up and down and I don't bring baby too high up my baby doesn't weigh so I don't know I can bring them all the way if that's okay with you or just you know a little bit higher and down hug baby in move that leg forward good move side to side So I'm going to turn this way to show you how my body is going to be during this little game. And taking a step back with your left foot, setting it to a 45 degree angle, the right foot stays in front, toes are forward. Bend that knee a bit. Back leg is long, right? Back leg is long. And then here, Holding on to baby under arms, you're going to see that my body does not move. Only my arms, just like we did before. So only my arms are going to move. Engage that core, because you're going to need that, in order to make sure your low back is safe. And you don't feel it in your low back. 
So engage the core and only your arms go forward. And baby goes out and in. And out and in. And out and in. Only three times for this one. Hug baby in. Take that step forward. Once baby's nice and secure, and you can kick back. Beautiful. So now we're going to play elevator. Yay, it's my favorite. Holding baby in diaper hold. Good. Baby's against your body. Just to, you know, just to kind of like keep baby against your body right here and that you have, you know, mobility. I'm going to put baby down because I'm gonna be ringing the bell. So, are we ready? This elevator has three floors. This is the first, I'm sorry, this is the third floor. We're gonna go to the second floor. First floor, second, third. First, second, first, second, third, first, third, second, third, if you have toddlers, they can join you too, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, first, second. Ooh, hold it. Babies are coming in and out of the elevator. Hold, where are they going? Where are they going? They're going to the first floor. Third floor. Second floor. Third floor. Second. Third. First. Basement! All the way down. Nice. Once again, come into that position. Legs apart. Your mat width apart. Toes are out. Knees want to be going towards the toes. Get into a good comfy position. Move around and elevator. Crazy elevator is going to go third floor, second floor, first floor, third, second, third, second, first, second, first, third, second, first, third, first, second. Third, second, basement. Oh, good, pretty, pretty, pretty. Just shake your legs, shake, shake, shake your legs. Nice. Okay, back to that mat with a part. Um, feet are mat with a part. Holding baby under arms, we're going to alternate. So I'm going to, again, turn to my side. So we're going to alternate how we're going to move baby around. So I usually do this in a circle with all the babies facing out. And we're going to start. Baby goes up and down. Out towards center, because it's a circle and in, sorry. And then up down, out, in, last one, up, down, out, in, hug baby, and come back, I mean, just sway. So from here, holding baby under, like maybe in between the legs, or just how you feel comfortable having baby come forward a little bit, and, it's a superhero. Woo. Flying, flying down, flying up, and just a little bit of flight, and slowly make yourself down to the mat. So we're gonna come down to the mat. So coming to a seated position, you can cross your legs in front, you can open your legs to a V, um, however it is comfy for you. Because moms, you want to be comfortable as well. I like to have my legs like this. 
And then holding on to baby's toes and feet. And with your hands, so with your whole hand, fingers and all, just start to massage. And I'm going to squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Start walking your hands towards the knees and thighs, squeezing and releasing, just a little squeeze and release to their tush. We're coming to the belly. So with on their belly, you're going to use your whole hand and we're going to go clockwise. So clockwise for me would be like this, right? Starting on the right side, across the belly, down the left side, and then across the underbelly right there. So come on and just massage clockwise. You're going clockwise because that is how the colon goes. Colon goes clockwise. Up the right, across the belly, down the left side. So many times when babies are gassy or fussy, when they have lots of gas and or they're constipated, we want to help them aid the digestion system. So help the digestive system by giving a little bit of massage, a little bit of warmth in the belly area and going clockwise. Come up to the chest. And shoulders. And once again, you're kind of just squeezing and releasing a little bit or just Massaging, you know, with your fingertips, massage, upper arms, forearms, hands. Now, when you get to their hands, with your thumb, you're going to place your thumb into their palms and see if they want to open those fingers and maybe hold on a little bit to one finger at a time, just massaging that. And who knows, you might find some treasures in between those fingers also. Because baby's hands have all sorts of stuff. Their toes as well. Beautiful. To set them down, coming into their head. And just like if you're shampooing their head with your fingertips lightly, on their beautiful head, but just make sure that you cover the whole head, like even the back a little bit, once or twice, the sides, the top. I'm gonna wash this dirt right out of your hair. I'm gonna wash this dirt right out of your hair. I'm gonna wash this dirt right out of your hair and send it down the drain. Come to their little ears. Massage the ears, the outside and the lobes and their cheeks. And just tap slowly or gently just around their little face, their forehead. Nice. And then bring that down just from their head. Just caress, go through their whole body down to their feet and relax. It's time for Shavasana. So I'm actually going to let you just do however you like to do Shavasana. Our class has ended right now. Um, but again, so you want to lie down for Shavasana for about maybe three, five, ten minutes. Whatever is good for you. And if baby needs to eat, you can feed baby. If you can feed baby, uh, nurse baby lying down, that would be even great because you can just lie down next to your baby and nurse. Or if baby's falling asleep, just come on close to baby. You can have some pillows around you in the back just for a little bit of support and lie down and relax.
Thank you so much for watching this class. I hope I get to see you and your babies really, really soon in class, in person. I miss you all so much. I miss my baby time because as you know, I'm always carrying or picking up babies and just walking around the class um, with them. So it's my favorite time. Take care.